Hello everyone, I'm Hanan Saleh, Professor of Histology and Cell Biology. The title of my project is Applying Structured Mark Schemes in Short Essay Assessment. The objective of this project was to evaluate the inter-rater reliability, or in other words, the agreement among raters when structured mark schemes um, are applied. And this was in hope to provide more fairness in the marking process. The methodology, 16 postgraduate students shared in the formative exam, and they represented about 70% of the assistant lecturers and demonstrators in the histology department. As regards the raters, 14 raters participated in the writing of the questions, in the formulation of the mark scheme, and in the marking process. And they represented about 75% um, of the staff members with a minimum of five years experience in marking. Now, as regards the formative exam and the choice of questions, uh, we decided to include different types of questions to cover the different cognitive levels of the ILOs. For example, to list, to describe, to explain, to compare, to give reason, and to interpret a photomicrograph from a slide. And this was to evaluate the effectiveness of the mark scheme in each type. The range of marks was from three to 10 marks, and each question was marked by eight raters, four of whom used the mark scheme and four did not use the mark scheme. This is an example of one of the questions uh, that was answered on Google Form. Um, as regards um, preparing the mark scheme, now that was really the tough part. Um, the raters were asked to reach a consensus uh, through organized online discussions, and each rater would have a preliminary mark scheme ready before the meeting, and they would discuss the distribution of the marks, the relevant points, and the specificity of the details. And this is also an example of a mark scheme for one of the questions. As for the analysis, after all uh, the raters have completed their marking, the marks were tabulated and the inter-rater reliability was calculated using kappa. Also a questionnaire was answered by all the raters to evaluate the degree of satisfaction when using the mark scheme. Now, what did the results show? The results showed that the inter-rater reliability was significantly higher in the groups using the mark scheme in all types of questions. And as you can see here, the blue columns at the back are uh, much higher than the yellow columns um, at the front. The blue ones were with the mark scheme and the yellow without the mark scheme. And you can see the difference um, between them. Um, even though uh, it was um, present or uh, apparent in all types of questions, it was most obvious in the interpret and the give reason type, this one and this one, the difference were even greater. Now, just to explain more, the maximum mark score of the um, inter-rater reliability is one. And so the closer you come to one, the more the agreement and the less the diversity and variation between the marks. As regards the questionnaire, more than 90% of the raters found that the mark scheme was clear and easy and it reduced time in marking, it reduced bias, and they would like to apply it in their practice again. Um, however, nearly 40% of the raters found uh, that they were neutral to the details or to the appropriateness of the details and they thought that it needed more refinement. From here, we could conclude that Structured mark schemes resulted in the greater overall agreement among the raters, and this allowed more fairness among students. And we would recommend it to be applied in the undergraduate formative exams as a first step, and maybe later on in summative exams when we are more experienced. Still, more practice is definitely needed to formulate the mark scheme, as it needs a lot of time and um, a lot of effort. And before I end, I would like to thank all my colleagues um, in the histology department for gen their generous help and their continuous support. They were behind me all the way. Um, and I would also um, like to thank my dear advisor, Professor Dr. Mohammed Hassanin, for his constant guidance. Thank you very much.